Okay, so immediately we see a big difference. It changed the shape of it. Coordinates pop up. And you can minimalize the minimap. And if I pull it to the center, it will be a circle. The closer I will go, oh, see? It changes shape to where you put it on the screen to make it a half sphere with a flat edge or make it a square with a rounded edge okay let's put it in the middle uh, right click to open the menu let me see let me increase the size it's easier for everyone to see just go just go in front to back see what we end up blip size so if you increase it you can see it drops off the minimap it's just a template that you can scale the only use would be to make it a little smaller that's it for me strata low high or medium uh, it's to make sure if you put it high it will be above anything else on the minimap and low if you have another UI it will uh, cover the minimap when it's active opacity to see how clear the minimap is when you're not in combat and combat opacity will make it look like this in combat or you can completely wipe it out and you see here the lines of the quests still available or still viewable let, let's say it like that the shape the shapes you saw corner bottom left rounded was automatically round side button rounded that's the middle and the ones in the middle of the screen a square tri corner oh uh, yeah like this looks like a little droplet also in four directions let's keep it rounded border style blizzard let me see alliance for the alliance players chinchilla flat none thin line tooltip tubular and I see something very important missing I don't see a horde template hmm border radius okay and the opacity of the borders button border opacity seems to be only working for the tracking button see no use for the radius if you can improve the scale of the minimap itself because now you have an open edge here I'm gonna keep it the way it is I think it was 80 coordinates coordinates enable or disable make it movable you can pull it where you want or you can do it by entering a number or you can do it by entering a number background blizzard tooltip so you can change what you want you see background don't know why it's not showing very clearly it's supposed to be that way there's a dialogue, parchment, or oh, you can see a little difference, not much. The border, same party, dialogue, different different options. Let's keep it with tooltip. The font, the font style, you can choose it, whatever suits your needs. Keep it at default. Precision, you can go to the thousands and then you can increase the size those of you who need <laughs> better directions you can pop it up as big you can pop it up as big as your action bar nice let me bring it down normal size the precision I don't think you need to go that precise I think this is the default is enough expander what the hell is it? Ah, it's the expander should be this 
I'm not going to keep buying it. Don't want to mess up my other settings. So does it say choose to toggle the expand minimap or only keep it shown while pressing the button down? Okay, so we would be like this until you pull a button you hit a button. A nice feature if you want to. Location. Ah, it's th the location you are. <laughs> I thought it was the location of the minimap itself. So you can choose movable. You can even put it here and it works. Same here as with the coordinates. You can change the setup. Move buttons, calendar, attached to the minimap, clock, garrison, instance, difficulty, LFG, mail, recording, tracking, voice chat, world map, zoom in, zoom out. So, if you're able to scroll, you don't need these. Oh, wait. Can't I disable these? Attached to the minimap? I thought it was somewhere that you can disable these should be you can choose the radius Whee. now you can only go around the minimap I think if you choose the square one you can only move in a square See, you can only pull them around the corner if I go up nothing happens just sticks around the minimap gives you a clean view anyway doesn't matter. Move buttons. Yeah, I can choose this with a number. I think with the mouse it's precise enough. Ping. Show in chat. This is a ping. If anyone clicks it, you can know who's the annoying fellow in the party or in the raid who is always putting stuff on the minimap. Position, what is this? Okay. You can make boss frames movable. If it's more than one boss capture bar. Don't know what that is. Think it is for hunters or for pet battles. Sounds like either of either of the two. Durability symbol minimap allows the minimap to be movable so you can drag it where you want well isn't that what the add-on is doing you can lock it here stupid that it's set up here quest and achievement tracker you can swing it around wherever you like too bad there's no scaling of the quest and achievement tracker like that feature ticket status if you're bugging blizzard again vehicle seats for those who have the tri uh, the, 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 the big bike tricycle don't know how it's called world state uh, I think it was the PvP here if I say it's movable yeah it's that one quest tracker change anything show the title of the quest tracker ah here inside show collapse button and oh no just the general height I thought it was the height of the box range circle uh, now you can see what is in range it only works if you are someone who can track humanoids like like if you're playing with a hunter and you are in a dungeon full of demons and you say track demons those within range will show up don't know how useful this is maybe uh, track humanoids for PvP players show or hide here we are zoom buttons Recording, okay, if I click once it's grays out, 
You can only see it when you... When you are with your mouse on the minimap, it shows up. We can put it out completely because you can zoom with your middle mouse button. And then also all the other stuff that sh should be on there. You can disable like the clock or the tracking. Because tracking is set up with the middle, with the mouse scrolling wheel. So it doesn't matter. Tracking dots. Uh, you can also change how everything is looking on the minimap. It's also a nice feature. So wheel zoom, you can also put that out. Auto zoom, time to zoom. Set the time it takes between manually zooming and automatically zooming out. And then the profiles. I think that says enough about this add-on. It's a little bit more inv advanced than the rest, but it doesn't have a whore template. So it's no good for me. Oh shit. <laughs> and it's in the way. That was it for Chinchilla. Now we move on to Sexy Map. Personally my favorite one. Because I've been using this for as long as I know. Or the add-on is around. 